Welcome to Mystic Realms Recap. Links are in the description below. Please show some love of the author and me. On to the show, originally, Susie and thought that Taj, like Tai Mei, would be a tall and thick girl. But when I really saw it, I realized that it was not the case at all. The appearance is acceptable, but it's definitely not in Susie and's taste. He is 2 meters tall and his figure is slim, not bulky. Definitely bigger than the average girls. But compared with Tai Mei, who is fully 2.7 meters tall and has a huge back and waist, she looks very petite and exquisite. But that's just her appearance. Her starship is definitely extraordinary. As one of the most gifted geniuses in the Titan clan, her starship originally had a very extreme style. The defense power is amazing. Of course compared with Tai Mei's. It's much inferior. Team Leader Taj immediately shouted respectfully. In front of Su Zian, a legendary genius. Taj seemed more reserved. However, there was a hint of admiration in Su Zian's eyes. This is normal. At this stage of the same age and strength, Su Zian really has a considerable number of admirers now. Su Zian smiled, and his smile was very gentle, don't be so formal. From now on, everyone will live and die together, so relax a little. I also want to get acquainted with everyone. That being said, it's obvious that Taj didn't relax much. However, Su Zian didn't say much, but asked, How is your evolution value reserve going? You should be able to evolve into a battleship with 100% purple unparalleled quality, right? Same as Begonia. Taj's starship is also a tier 10 cruiser. The two girls should have been able to evolve into a battleship half a year ago, or even a year ago. But at Su Zian's request, let them not be busy evolving and let them reserve enough evolution values first. When he comes over, he will evolve them all at once. Exclusively customized. Of course they had no objections to Su Zian's request. Because the first red line for joining the brilliant fleet is to absolutely obey all Su Zian's orders. Even Hai Tang is an exception. She must also obey Su Zian's orders. This cannot be changed no matter who it is. I have a lot of reserves. In the past six months, I have been fighting on the battlefield and consumed a lot of evolution points for emergency repairs, but I still have a lot of reserves. Taj answered honestly. Su Zian felt relieved. At least for now, Taj is still very obedient. This is enough. As for strength, no need to worry. The other party is a monster level genius, just like Hai Tang. And he himself is from the Titan race. The Titans are natural human shielders. He is born with a high understanding of how to fight defensively. This is a gene engraved in their bones. So Su Zian nodded and said, that's a good feeling. But in the past few days, I won't let you evolve alone. After that, when my starship also evolves, we will evolve together. It takes a lot of time to evolve into a battleship. If you had this time, it would be better to go to the battlefield to kill enemies together and get more evolution points. Every subsequent evolution will be carried out simultaneously and will not be delayed for many days. Taj and Hai Tang naturally nodded, indicating that there was no problem. After all, I have been waiting for a year and a half. It's not that short of time. In fact, Su Zian said this, and this is indeed part of the reason. The other part. The main reason is that I want to use this period of time to examine the character and character of this Taj. During this period, if you find that the other person's character and character are not up to standard. So sorry. No matter how talented you are, or whether you are Taimei's sister. Su Zian would kick him out of the brilliant fleet without hesitation. Because there are too many secrets in Su Zian. If you find that the other party's character and character pass the test. After that, you can safely sell the treasures of heaven and earth to her at low prices in the same way. While she gains a lot of wealth, she can also quickly improve her strength, a win-win outcome. Su Zian's final vision for the brilliant fleet is. Wait until some day in the future brilliant fleet. He should not be the only one who is so unique. He wants to build a super fleet composed entirely of peerless geniuses. 
The entire team is an outstanding talent. In addition, there is also a starship customized specifically for them. It's hard to imagine. By that time, the combat effectiveness of the brilliant fleet will be so tyrannical. Believe. You won't let yourself down, right? Absolutely a good thing. As for Hai Tang, there is definitely no need to inspect it. Hai Tang, Su Zian, should be 100% trustworthy. Mainly to inspect Taj. Since it is an inspection. At the same time, Su Zian didn't come here to play. With the addition of two new members, the brilliant fleet needs a lot of training. So not much rest. That night, Su Zian began to choose tasks. Task. Everywhere. And the task is multi-party and multi-agency. Among them, tasks are mainly divided into three categories. 1. Official. 2. From the Interstellar Hunters Guild. 3. Of all major forces. Official mission, needless to say. This official mission can only be a mission issued by the Universal Human Federation. And only combat missions issued by the Universal Human Federation can obtain military merit rewards. The importance of military merit is self-evident. Therefore, almost no one picks up official tasks in other areas. Because it is the most dangerous. But on the battlefield, the officially released missions are the most popular. The tasks of the Star Hunter Guild are of uncertain danger and are mainly tasks released by private individuals. For example, a certain fleet received an official doctor. But this official mission, this fleet feels that it cannot be completed, and even if it can be completed, the mortality rate will be too high. In this case, an invitation will be issued, a certain reward will be given, and other fleets will be invited to join in and carry out this mission together. In addition, there will be some long-term tasks to acquire certain natural materials and treasures, or to designate parts for certain inhuman or insect starships, etc. The final missions released by the major forces are completely full of uncertainties. The major forces may be national-type forces such as the Soul Empire and the Earth Federation. It may also be a force such as a certain group or a certain family. Mission rewards are also different, including money, territory, items, and even positions, etc. There are too many types of tasks. Dangerous, not dangerous. For example, a certain war zone is a combat area contracted by a certain heavenly force. Then this big force will issue long-term recruitment tasks for combatants. This situation is almost equivalent to the Earth in ancient times, when a military contractor contracted a certain military combat mission in the hands of the government. Then this military contractor, which has fewer combatants of its own, will pay to recruit external mercenaries. Don't think that contractors will make no money from this kind of military contracting. The profits are astonishingly huge. Because it is contracted from the Universal Human Federation, every year, the Universal Human Federation pays the contractor a huge sum of money as remuneration. Secondly, whatever great military achievements they achieve, they will also receive generous rewards, promised. In addition, the spoils of war basically belong to them. What other mineral veins are there? As long as they are discovered or seized, it all belongs to them. The profits here are extremely huge. But no matter which of these three types of tasks it is, no matter what the reward is, one thing is certain dash. That is, no matter what task you take. As long as you are on task, everything you do will be recorded by the intelligent optical brain and reviewed. It then counts as your fleet's fleet score. That is to say, on the war zone, fleet level can be improved at any time. As long as your combat ability is strong enough, then there is absolutely no problem. But Suzian only glanced at it a few times. It will be the first combat mission of the brilliant fleet. It settled on the official one. The first task. Definitely choose the official one. More formal. Danger is not dangerous. Officials will also make it clear. Incentives also never put off purchasing. The selectivity is also much greater. Think no more. I immediately started browsing the officially released tasks.
the official missions in the C-72743 battlefield will definitely only display all combat missions in this battlefield. However, in addition to battlefield missions, there are also war zone missions to choose from. Battlefield missions. Basically, it's very difficult. It's the kind of mission that targets the entire battlefield. It is possible to dispatch you from this war zone to another war zone for combat. Even fighting deep behind enemy lines, and so on. The difficulty is extremely high, and the mortality rate is also extremely high. Suzian will not consider this task for the time being. Although with the strength of the brilliant fleet, the risk of taking on this mission is not very high. Because battlefield missions are basically based on cruisers and battleships. The strength of the brilliant fleet has definitely reached this level. However, the brilliant fleet currently needs more adjustment. Therefore, these tasks are skipped directly. The combat mission in the TC-998 theater was selected. Assault mission, colon. Mission goal, cut into the battlefield from the TC-998 war zone, the Golden Air Star system, and capture the Wushan Star controlled by the insects. The occupation lasts three days. Mission reward, military merit worth 70,000 points. Mission difficulty, S mission suggestion, silver and above fleets. Tell the truth. Su Zian was actually quite jealous of the first official mission he saw. Military merit is worth 70,000 points, which is definitely not a small amount. The military merit value is 1 point, and the conversion ratio to the wealth value is 110. In other words, 70,000 military merits are equivalent to 70 million wealth values. Quite a few. The most important thing is that 70,000 military merit points can be exchanged for many good things. What? Why do you think it is a fleet operation, and the 70,000 military merits should be equally divided? 543, stop being ridiculous. As for the money, Qin Fuyue and the others owe Su Zian. Not to mention 70,000 military merit, 700,000 is not enough to repay it. Maybe 7 million is possible. Therefore, the military merit rewards for these missions were all obtained by Su Zian alone. As for Haitang and Taj? Stop asking. It's difficult to customize an evolved starship exclusively for them, for free? Do you know how much I, Su Tianjiao, charge for evolving starships or custom made ones? So I, Su Zian, have an absolute conscience. As for the difficulty of the task, very simple. Tasks must be differentiated in difficulty. The task difficulty and battlefield level division are actually the same. The highest level is the SSS difficulty mission. The mortality rate is as high as 99.99%. It can be called 10 deaths, but no life. Only those desperate warriors or lunatics dare to take on such a difficult task. Of course, once completed, the rewards are extremely high. But currently, the highest level of difficulty for the official missions in the TC-998 theater is only S level. SSS level tasks are the most difficult, D level tasks are the least difficult. Nothing challenging. The difficulty of the task also changes randomly based on the strength of the viewer and the rank of the fleet that takes the task. For example, for a golden fleet, this mission may only be A level or even B level. The brilliant fleet is now only a black iron rank fleet. So it is S level display. S level missions can actually be considered. Beg. Because the strength of the brilliant fleet is of course not limited to the black iron rank. It's not even bronze, it's the actual strength of the silver fleet. This is 10,000%. Even the brilliant fleet is the strength of the golden fleet. Especially after collectively evolving into battleships. However, Su Zian still chose to take a closer look. There are not many, S, level missions, but there are a few. Pick and choose. Finally. Su Zian chose a task with difficulty level, S, plus. Extreme Chase. Mission Goal. Go to the Feiyuan star system to find and hunt the Inhumans Golden Fleet, Tikuan's fleet. 
Mission Reward, Military Merit Worth 100,000 Points, Mission Difficulty, S++. Mission Suggestion, It is recommended that the Gold Fleet and Above Fleets pick up and take action. Suzian finally chose this task. First of all, this mission is one of the most difficult among the TC-998 theater missions. Each task level has different displays, which can be regarded as a refinement of the task difficulty. For example, S, level mission. There are five types of refinement difficulties, S dash, S, S plus, S plus plus, and S plus plus plus. The easiest is undoubtedly the S dash, mission difficulty. The most difficult is the S++ mission difficulty. Beyond this level of difficulty, SSE will become difficult to live in. The reason why I chose this most difficult mission in the war zone, the reason is simple. Although it is a break-in. But if the danger is not high enough and the enemy is not strong enough. It is also impossible to play a role in running in only powerful enemies, high-intensity combat, and high-risk missions. Only then can we truly play the role of running in in danger. From the danger, we can see Taja's true strength, as well as her character in character. This is important. What's more? Suzian is not blindly confident. He is sure of this task. The most important is. This mission is also the most suitable for him and the brilliant fleet. Because it's a pursuit mission. In fact, the most difficult part of the pursuit mission is the search and pursuit. As for Su Zian, the least of his worries is searching and chasing. The system's super tracking ability is just like turning on a plug-in. As long as you know the other party's identity information or starship information. After consuming a certain amount of wealth, you can easily lock on to the enemy. And the military merit value of 100,000. Tell the truth. Su Zian is also quite greedy. Converted into wealth value, it's 1 million. Now that you have made up your mind, there will be no more hesitation. Su Zian immediately accepted this task as the captain of the brilliant fleet. Just after I clicked on the official mission website, a red frame that kept flashing was brought up. Warning! Since the strength of the brilliant fleet is only 9 black iron stars, please choose carefully. Please choose carefully. Suzian clicked ignore and continued to accept. Mission received successfully. Immediately afterwards. Detailed information about the mission was also sent simultaneously. Tiku's fleet is a golden fleet of the Inhumans that is active in the TC-998 battlefield all year round. The number reached 21 people. Its captain, Tiku's, is a senior battleship captain. There are two vice captains, one is the intermediate battleship captain and the other is the junior battleship captain. In addition, there is a junior battleship captain as a member of the fleet. The remaining team members. All cruiser captains. In fact, this strength and level do not seem to be. 18. He has been active on the battlefield for more than 70 years without being killed. It has also been officially listed as a hunting target, and the difficulty has been set at S++, so you can see its problems. Although the S++ mission difficulty is determined based on the black iron rank of Brilliant Fleet. If it really had to be accepted by a fleet that was also in the gold rank, I'm afraid it would be A+, plus at most. But, over the years, more than one Golden Fleet must have accepted this mission but he still didn't kill the opponent. It is enough to show that this Tikuan's fleet is definitely not weak, and judging from the information displayed by the intelligence. And indeed it is. The Tikuan's fleet is, most importantly, very good at hiding and escaping. Its fleet has professional camouflage personnel who specialize in camouflaging its fleet. It appears in a different image almost every day and is very difficult to track. Its own strength is also quite powerful. Intelligence showed that the Tikuan's fleet had killed seven golden fleets. The number of fleets with gold and below levels killed is countless. In addition, the Tikuan's fleet killed a lot of human fleets and caused huge losses to the human race on the battlefield. After reading this information, 
Suzy Ian's expression didn't change at all. Very good at disguise? Okay. What I am least afraid of is your disguise. Any disguise, any escape, any hiding. In front of you, you will have nothing to hide. There was no hesitation immediately. Based on information provided by official intelligence, Suzian directly targeted the captain of a junior cruiser in the opponent's fleet. Don't ask why, asking is the cheapest way to lock in the other party's wealth. There is no need to target Tikuan's, captain of Tikuan's fleet. After all, the other parties are all from the same fleet. Hanging out together all year round. It's simply not necessary. It can also save a lot of wealth value. 4. Just locked. Suzian looked at the upper right corner. Suddenly, a cosmic coordinate with extremely clear coordinates appeared. And this coordinate is currently moving. Needless to say. This is the infamous Tikuan's fleet. Let the people. And the buggers. Everyone hates the inhuman fleet with itch. You are the one. The first battle of the brilliant fleet's battle to become famous. A sneer finally appeared at the corner of Suzian's mouth. Immediately enter the coordinate position into the star map. Locate the opponent's coordinates in real time. Other side. There will be no escape, after replenishing all supplies. The dazzling fleet set off early the next morning. Today's dazzling fleet. The two daughters, Hu Chi Chi and Qin Fu Yue, are firepower ships, specifically responsible for firepower output. The two daughters, Taimei and Taj, are defense ships, specifically responsible for the defense of the fleet. Bai Xiao Yuan is a support ship and is responsible for the fleet's logistics. Miao Xiaomi has a high burst rate and is responsible for point killing. Haitang is an assault ship. This so-called assault ship is not of the same rank, but the kind of fighting style and direction. If I have to use metaphor, then compare the brilliant fleet to the configuration of the special forces squad on Earth in ancient times. The two girls, Hu Chi Chi and Qin Fu Yue, are heavy firepower players. Taimei Taiji is the shield bearer who carries the shield in the front row. Bai Xiao Yuan is a medical soldier, a scout soldier, and a logistics soldier. Meowth is a sniper. Hai Tang is the assaulter. The role of Begonia. Specially responsible for cutting up the battlefield. What is cutting the battlefield? For example, the enemy starships unite to destroy one of their own targets. Then Hai Tang disrupted the opponent's formation. Then break them down one by one. The role is also extremely important. Su Zian is the all-rounder. But the main role of Suzian. Just delay the enemy's most powerful target and kill it. Brilliant fleet. Since then, all the main starship configurations are available. The combat effectiveness has risen by more than one level. Especially after all members of the brilliant fleet evolved into battleships. Basically, he will transform into an existence like a great devil on the battlefield. In the TC-998 war zone, wars are everywhere. In the star system. On the planet. Meteorite belt. Deep space zone. Etc, etc. There were explosions of fire and battle scenes everywhere. This is just a small-scale local war. A real large-scale war is far beyond this scale. In the sea-level battlefield, it is not like the B-level battlefield, where large-scale wars occur every minute. Basically, it will take a month, a few months, or even a few years, ten years, decades, or hundreds of years before a truly large-scale war breaks out. In peacetime, it is this kind of small-scale local war that has a long history. The death rate is also high, but it is far less cruel than the B-level battlefield. Along the way. Regarding the surrounding battles, the brilliant fleet would avoid them if they could. At this time, Bai Xiaonya's little kite played a huge role. The reconnaissance drone in the reconnaissance cabin is operating at full speed. The detection range is huge and the stealth performance is excellent. Under such circumstances, basically only very high-quality deep spaceships and star destroyers can detect the existence of reconnaissance drones. But, 
their starships and actions could not escape by Xiaoying's detection. The most detailed situation was investigated. In order to avoid wasting time, he avoided it and headed straight towards the Tikuan's fleet. At this time, the Tikuan's fleet had stopped its activities and was staying quietly in a certain star system. According to intelligence, the Tikuan's fleet should be in the Fiyuan star system. This is the latest intelligence news from yesterday. But wait until you wake up today and see. It was discovered that this Tikuas fleet had already fled to another star system. You know, your own intelligence personnel are always keeping an eye on the other party. But now there is no latest information coming. From this, it can be concluded that the Tikuan's fleet must have changed its appearance again. He avoided the surveillance of his own intelligence personnel and escaped unharmed. It can be seen that the escape and concealment ability of this Tikuan's fleet is truly worthy of its reputation. No wonder they have been fighting for decades, but they haven't been killed by humans or bugs yet. One thing to say, the ability in this area is really awesome. After seven hours of traveling, avoid all battlefields and enemies. Finally, we arrived at the star system where our target was located. This star system in front of me, it is also a local battlefield. People from three parties and multiple ethnic groups are fighting here. Tripartite personnel. I'm talking about the cosmic human race, the inhuman race, and the insect race. Multiple ethnic groups. It is talking about the vassal ethnic groups of the three peak ethnic groups. In fact, there are not many orthodox humans, aliens, and bugs on the battlefield. Only one third is occupied. The other two-thirds of the combatants are from the billions of people in the universe. It's like a brilliant fleet. There are only three orthodox humans, Su Zian, Qin Fuyue, and Hai Tang. The five girls, Taj, Taimei, Hu Chichi, Miao Xiaomi, and Bai Xiaoyuan, are all vassal groups of the human race in the universe. Therefore, it is really what others call the human race, the cosmic human race, and the peak overlord race. I'm just talking about the orthodox human race in the universe. Other unorthodox human races are all just vassal races and are not qualified to be called the pinnacle overlord race. Of course, the humans in the universe are kind. Treat non-orthodox human races basically equally, as long as you don't take the initiative to provoke the orthodox human race, basically what should be done. Little bird, conduct reconnaissance immediately. Others, be vigilant, ready to go at any time, waiting for my order. Suzian gave the order. Exclamation point. All the girls responded in unison. Including Hai Tang, they are also very obedient. Although Suzian kept showing off in front of Hai Tang and asking her to call him Dean Su, Hai Tang never listened. But when it comes to business matters, Hai Tang can still handle things clearly. From the moment she joined the brilliant fleet, Suzian's order is the highest order must obey unconditionally. Otherwise, she knew very well that was Suzian's character. No matter how special the relationship between Suzian and himself is. As long as he dares to disobey his orders, he will be kicked out of the dazzling fleet in the next second. What's more, following Suzian's orders is also responsible for yourself and everyone. Hai Tang obediently became wary. Bai Xiaoyuan immediately released all the reconnaissance stealth drones and began to conduct the most rigorous investigation based on the coordinates given by Su Zian. Where did Su Zian's coordinates come from? No one asked. This is Su Zian's secret. Request flowers 00. If Su Zian wants to say it, then he can say it. I don't want to say that they will never explore Su Zian's secret. This is the most basic bottom line. The reconnaissance stealth drone is very fast and can even perform pulse jump flight. Faster than light flight is the most basic function, under the control of Bai Xiaoyuan's biological energy. The reconnaissance stealth drone quickly arrived at the target area. A very desolate planet. In this kind of star system where battles are taking place all the time, it is naturally impossible for any high-rise buildings and other buildings to exist. All planets maintain their original ecological appearance. 
At the same time, the footage taken by the reconnaissance drone was transmitted to everyone's Starship optical brain without delay, and the captured footage was projected into the clearest virtual form. In the screen, it's a mountain range. On the surface, there seems to be nothing, very normal. However, after technical analysis, the target was immediately found. In the barren mountains, there are mountains that seem to be integrated with the surrounding barren mountains. After technical analysis by the reconnaissance drone, it is determined that these mountains are the optical camouflage of the target starship. Zero, 00, they lay motionless in the mountains. Look at how they look, obviously. It seems to be dormant, waiting for the enemy to pass by and launch an attack. And this unexpected way of fighting. It is also the most commonly used method of insidious damage on the battlefield, has the highest mortality rate, and is the most difficult to guard against. As long as you don't detect the opponent's traces, you can't defeat the opponent. Basically, I have to explain it here. After confirming that there were no abnormalities around the target, and there were no traces of other enemy fleets, Su Zian made a prompt decision and waved his hand, get ready to go, go to the target location, go to the sky, focus the fire directly on me, and kill the captain and two deputy captains first. Captain, leave it to me. Two vice captains, you can divide it among yourself, no other requirements. You must give me enough time to perform. None of the remaining starships are allowed to escape. As long as I kill Tikus. The next step is the massacre. After listening to Suzian's order, all the girls responded crisply, expressing their understanding. Everyone became excited and excited. Especially the two daughters, Taj and Hai Tang. The shock in their hearts was even difficult to express in words. To know. The mission to hunt down the Tikuan's fleet has been released for decades. It's not like there isn't a fleet of strong men coming. But there is really no trace of the Tikuan's fleet at all. In the end, I had no choice but to let it go. But I didn't expect it. Suzian just arrived. He found the Tikuan's fleet directly and accurately. Don't say anything else. The accuracy of this intelligence alone. It is not difficult to imagine. Under the leadership of Suzian. Brilliant fleet. It will definitely shine. No. Even after this battle. The name of the Dazzling Fleet. He will become famous on this battlefield, after determining the exact location of the enemy. What to do next is very simple. There is no need to get into close range. At this time. The benefits of missiles are highlighted. The brilliant fleet drove the starship to the outer layer of the planet's atmosphere. Then, lock the radar and directly lock all the targets below. The missile has a long attack range. The locking radar has been strengthened by Suzian. Once the enemy is locked, it is impossible for the enemy's starship radar to detect it. Missile locked. Qin Fuyue was the first to report, Hu Chi Chi, the missile has locked onto the primary battleship. Hai Tang, locked. Meowth, I've also completed the lockdown. Listen to their reports one by one. On Suzian's side, the locking radar has also locked on the strongest starship of the Tikuan's fleet, which is the high-end battleship of Tikuan's, the captain of the Tikuan's fleet. No more hesitation. Suzian directly gave the order to attack, launch. With his order, countless missiles from the brilliant fleet bombarded the enemy's location as if they were free of charge. The missile had just been launched. The terrifying thrust immediately caused the 670 to enter a state of super light speed, attacking the enemy target at a speed that was difficult to discern with the naked eye. The same is true here with Suzian. And each missile has a certain amount of biological energy injected into it. Use this to control the direction and firing point of the missile. After the cruiser captain. Bioenergy has reached the state of preliminary utilization. Although not like the captain of the Star Destroyer, or the captain of the Immortal. With the blessing of biological energy, the attacking weapons can increase various powers. But creatures can control the accuracy and angle of their attacks, so there is no problem. This. 
That's why cruiser captains and above are called strong. Because I have reached the level of cruiser captain. Even those with mediocre qualifications. With the blessing of biological energy, it also has super high attack accuracy. The way creatures can attack targets with blessing is quite a wonderful feeling. It was as if his mental power had been divided into dozens of strands. With the blessing of biological energy, the missile can be completely controlled by its own mental power to attack the target. At super light speed. This distance is fleeting. At the same time. In the mountains. The Tikuan's fleet is hiding among them, still chatting leisurely. Little did they know that their whereabouts had been locked and discovered, chatting and chatting. I don't know why we ended up talking about the list of geniuses. In fact, in the universe. No matter which ethnic group you are from, it is normal to chat about the genius list. And unknowingly, Su Zian, who has been the most popular in the past few months, arrived. One of them spoke enthusiastically. Hey, do you know? Some time ago, Su Zian, the genius of the human race, didn't kill Barbarous Liu, the new genius of the insect race? Good guy, that Su Zian is really strong. We are both peerless geniuses, and even the starships are just destroyers. Killed the cruiser Captain Barbarujaru abruptly. The opponent you hit has no power to fight back. This person's words. It immediately elicited positive feedback from others. Right. I know it too. I even watched that video. Let me tell you, that Su Zian is really strong. The video shows that Barbarous Lu didn't even have a chance to escape in the end, and was killed by Su Zian in seconds. Then he was ranked number 303 on the Prodigy list as a destroyer captain. That strength is really outrageous, absolutely the ultimate genius in Star Wars. In the human race of the universe, another super genius has appeared this time. After listening to the analysis of many of our experts, this Suzian. In the near future, it is even possible to hit the King of Heaven. Oh, it would be great if we could kill him in advance. This person's words immediately aroused the laughter of several other people. Give me a break. A super genius of that level must be protected by the humans of the universe as if they were treasures. How could it be possible for us to take advantage of this? But that's okay. I heard that Babalusalu's biological brother is the unparalleled genius who ranks over 200, Babalusalu. After Su Zian kills Barbarous Lu. The first time I shouted angrily to Su Zian, I must kill him and avenge his brother. Even the ethnic group he belongs to issued a reward. As long as you tell Su Zian's precise location, you can get a lot of rewards. It's a pity. No one knows Su Zian's location at the moment. Including those intelligence organizations, listen to their chat. Tiku's never interrupted. He seemed very silent. Because I don't know why. Since yesterday. There was always a very uncomfortable feeling in his heart. A tingling feeling all over my body. But I can't tell you exactly what it feels like. All in all very unhappy. And as time goes by, this uncomfortable feeling becomes stronger and stronger. Especially this hour. There was always a feeling of panic inside him. He frowned tightly, thought for a moment, and immediately said, stop talking. Get ready to go now. I have had a very ominous premonition since yesterday. It always feels like something big is about to happen. It's not advisable to stay here for a long time. We'd better retreat to the rear. It's safer. Hiss. F asterisk asterisk K. Enemy attack. Enemy attack. Takusi hasn't finished speaking yet, suddenly his eyes narrowed. In sight. Seeing countless black spots, heading towards them at an unparalleled speed. Extremely fast and with clear goals, it's them. This moment. The hairs all over T. Quancy's body seem to explode. He finally knew where the uneasiness in his heart came from. Without even thinking about it, he roared hysterically. At the same time, his speed is not slow at all. Years of fighting experience on the battlefield allowed him to respond immediately. Conditioned reflexes are the same. 
his Tiku started the engine instantly. At the same time, there is no need to worry about optical concealment. The first time, turn on the energy shield. Unfortunately, the opponent's attack speed is really too fast. Until then. Only then did Tikuans finally see clearly what these black spots were. Missile. Lots of missiles. Thousands and tens of thousands of missiles. There were so many missiles that the hair on Tikuas's hair went up. The missiles of this era are not the low-end and mid-range products that were used on Earth in ancient times. The missiles of this era are extremely powerful. But, the speed is really too fast. He even just reacted, and the other members of Tikus didn't even have time to react. All these tens of thousands of missiles have arrived. Hold. Damn. Missiles. Defense. Everyone activates defense. It's too late to run, turn on the defense, to the maximum. Be ready to use evolution points to repair it at any time. Damn, they're coming. I saw them. Prepare for a bloody battle. Prepare for a bloody battle. Damn it. How were we discovered? How could we be discovered? Roar. Sounds of panic, one after another. And in everyone's mind, an idea appeared that made them extremely confused, them. How did his whereabouts become exposed? In the past few decades, his whereabouts have never been exposed. This time, not only was the whereabouts revealed, but the opponent was also targeted so accurately. How was it possible? These thoughts are just fleeting. There are simply no extra thoughts to think about. Numerous missiles. It has already arrived. Rumble. Violent light, terrifying power, deafening sound. The explosive power of tens of thousands of missiles even caused the collapse of a small area of the surrounding space. But it was quickly repaired. Space collapses. Generally, only relatively powerful star destroyers can defeat it. Normal star destroyers can't do it. After the space collapses, space becomes turbulent. That is to say, this is the collective explosion power of the above missiles. No less powerful than a powerful star destroyer's full blow. Just for a moment. Just the aftermath of the explosion. This resulted in a total of 1.37 cruisers of the Tikuan's fleet being directly blown up on the spot. The remaining starships were all in dilapidated condition. This, that is the huge result of the sudden attack. This is also the reason why this kind of ambush tactic has been the reason why the war has continued for countless years. This result. It's really gratifying. Even Tikus, who reacted the fastest. His Tikus. Because he suffered the most powerful attack and the most precise attack. His energy shield was directly destroyed. The outer armor and core armor of his starship were riddled with holes. If it weren't for his large reserves of evolution points, if we carry out emergency repairs on the starship at the first possible moment, we will spare no expense and frantic efforts. In fact, it was just this round. When he mentioned Quang Si, he was gone. But even so, it consumed nearly two-thirds of his evolution value. And the starship has not been completely restored. The degree of damage exceeded 33%. And at this time, brilliant fleet. Also arrived, just in time. Greet them. It will be a more violent and terrifying attack. WXJZ. The end of the myth of the Tiku's fleet in the TC-998 theater, in the dazzling fleet. Suzian issued orders, one by one. The girls carried out the task firmly. Suzian just gave a rough order. They will know what to do. And Suzian. Then he stared at the Tikuans and started his most ferocious attack. The missile has just been launched. Although there are still two rounds left. But it's obviously no longer necessary. But now, it is a life and death battle. It's not a test of your own strength. Therefore, in order to avoid unnecessary complications, Suzian has all his strength as soon as he comes up. Multidimensional space starships are overlapped and used directly. 
the fusion of two Tier 10 cruiser-level brilliant ships. On the original basis, it had already achieved the advantage of being able to stabilize one end of the battleship, and it instantly became the intensity of a violent beating. Under the overlap of starships. The opponent's high-end battleship. That's the younger brother. In fact, this is also true. When Su Zian is on full fire. The Tikus, which has dominated the battlefield for decades and is so arrogant that even many star destroyers and deep space ships have nothing to do with it, is like a bed bug. Nothing but a slow struggle to death. There is no other way. I can only watch as I am being eaten away bit by bit. Four main guns, just nothing. And the power of each main gun is enough to explode the parts of the Tikus. After all, the other party is also strong. Moreover, the opponent's angle did not support Su Zian's precise attack on the cockpit of the Tychus. But that's okay. Under multiple overlaps, one main gun shell killed 11 parts of one part. Even the power of the secondary cannon is extremely powerful. After one round of bombing, the battle damage of the opponent's starship dropped at an unimaginable speed. Look at the women again. This is after they evolved into cruisers. The first all-out attack. Their combined power, beyond imagination. The cruiser class monolith. Its defense was so powerful that everyone on the other side was dumbfounded. They fought back frantically with so many starships, trying to find an escape route. But, no matter how scattered their attacks were. It doesn't matter how many attacks they have. But. The boulder can intercept it. Let all its attacks be unable to go beyond the limit. Energy weapons also have interception methods. For example, material energy anti-aircraft guns. It is a means of venting that specifically uses micromatter as energy to intercept energy weapons. Such as laser cannons, photon cannons, etc. Can be intercepted easily. Not to mention kinetic weapons. Because there are physical warheads. The ultra-high quality anti-aircraft cannon locks on easily and then fires faster firing shells to intercept. There are also long-range and medium-range interceptor missiles. Anyway. The combat area is very wide. The rock is not that big either. But, the boulder's defense covered the entire battle area. No matter which direction the enemy's attack comes from, it is within its interception range. This is just an ordinary interception. Not to mention defense. The energy shield of the three crossfires, its defense is terrifying. Even the opponent's many collective attacks did not even break its energy shield. You can imagine how strong the defense is. Not to mention after the energy shield. There is also Nima's 10 layers of 15 meter thick core armor. The defense of the monolith. It's really not that outrageous. The person opposite looked dumbfounded and said nothing. Even Taj and Hai Tang, who had been mentally prepared, were stunned. They had long known that the brilliant fleet was extremely powerful. But now. Where is extremely powerful to be able to express? It's simply outrageous. This is just defense. Hu Chi Chi and Qin Fu Yu's firepower covered them. Just two cruisers. Lung Xingxing brought the Tikuan's fleet and suppressed all the remaining starships of the opponent so hard that they didn't even dare to raise their heads. And it's not just a simple suppression. The damage to the opponent's starship is declining at an unimaginable speed. To know. Among the opponent's remaining starships, there are still a few battleships. Miao Xiaomi is like an assassin. The figure is invisible and elusive. Whenever you attack, you will definitely cause fatal damage to the opponent. For example, the two girls, Hu Chi Chi and Qin Fu Yue, had almost exhausted the defense of a certain part of the enemy's starship. Miao Miao took action immediately. The attack is to destroy the opponent's main gun, secondary gun, engine, etc. Sometimes they even directly blow up the opponent's cockpit and driver. The terrifying attack power is jaw-dropping. What excites the two girls the most? It is still the strength of Bai Xiaoyuan's support ship. 
The reason why the two girls, Hu Chichi and Qin Fuyue, were able to attack so unscrupulously, Cannonball's missile's crazy tilt for free. It's because Bai Xiaoyuan's support ship is continuously supplying ammunition. The reason why the boulder is able to defend so unscrupulously. It is because of the support ship of Bai Xiaoyao that we can continue to carry out maintenance. Repair speed is amazingly fast. The little kite may not have offensive capabilities. BFA. It's really important. See the situation on the girl's side. Su Zian was completely relieved. In fact, there is no need for Taj and Hai Tang to take action. The brilliant fleet can do this, now plus they take action. It's just a matter of time before the other party collapses. In fact, this is exactly the case. When Su Zian's side used thunderous means to kill Tikuans who was full of unwillingness and confusion. The battle on the girl's side is actually coming to an end because the opponent's battleships have been almost used up. The degree of damage is decreasing crazily. Now, Su Zian joined the battle. Next, it was like destroying everything. With Su Zian firing one gun at a time, all those battleships were eliminated. The remaining starships became everyone's meal, and there were no more surprises. More than 10 minutes later, the girls have gained a large amount of evolutionary points including three girls, Taime, Taj, and Bai Xiaoyuan. Although, they have very few or even no means of attack. But, after reaching the level of cruiser, there is no need to care about these things at all. Because even if it is just defense and not attack, but as long as the enemy starship is killed, then the more damage you take from enemies, the more evolution points you gain. The same goes for White Bird, Although she doesn't have any attack power output. But her support was excellent. Therefore, the evolution value she obtains is no less than that of others. Su Zian, in addition to eating a high-level battleship Tikuans alone. The remaining battleships were also divided equally among the women. Then the remaining cruisers were eaten by the girls, and Su Zian did not share them. Because it's not necessary. As for the cruiser's evolutionary value, Su Liaoan no longer valued it very much. The evolutionary value that can make him fancy, battleship starts. Preferably a deep space ship. The infamous Tiquan fleet was destroyed, when the news spread. Suddenly, it spread like a plague to the entire TC-998 war zone. The human race and the insect race all cheered and felt happy. This Tiku's fleet is really a cancer on the battlefield. Specialized in ambushing people. Hit and run. Even if you can't fight, you can run away. After running, change your appearance. Then continue. The key escape speed is awesome. Not to mention stealth techniques. 650 of the awesome. It gives countless people headaches. But now, the Tikuan's fleet was killed. I just don't know which fleet of gods and men killed it. The Inhumans were in an uproar. They did not expect that the Tikuan's fleet was killed. The most important thing is. The Tikuan's fleet, from the time they sent for help, to the time they were killed. Less than 10 minutes have passed. There was no sound even before their nearby support arrived. When support arrived, there was only the ruins of the Tikuan's fleet. The Inhumans wanted to know which fleet was able to locate the Tikuan's fleet so accurately and then kill it so easily. Could it be that some super strong person took action? But that's not right. If a super strong person takes action, why is there no movement from our own super strong person? As for the human race, he must have wanted to hide it for the brilliant fleet. After all, if the brilliant fleet killed the Tikuan's fleet, it would attract attention and be targeted. Not to mention that the brilliant fleet is a genius fleet, and there is Su Zian, a super genius. B. It is undoubtedly more difficult to conceal it. This is not. Only a few short hours had passed. I don't know who spread the news. The Tikuan's fleet was actually killed by the brilliant fleet. Su Zian, the bright genius of the human race in the universe, personally led the team to kill him. 
this news. Like the craziest plague. It instantly filled the entire TC-998 battlefield. It instantly filled the entire C-2743 battlefield. Immediately afterwards. Leaked to a wider area. Su Zian went to the TC-998 war zone in the C-72743 battlefield, and in the first battle, he directly defeated the most difficult inhuman fleet in the TC-998 war zone. In the fastest time, appeared in the Inhumans and Insects, and on the desks of various intelligence organizations. If you're enjoying my content, please consider donating a coffee. Or checking out my shirts on Tee Public. The dazzling Tianjiao Su Zian appeared on the C-72743 battlefield with the dazzling Tianjiao fleet. Once the news was reported, it immediately attracted the attention of countless people. The humans in the universe can't hide it even if they want to. Because the Inhumans, Insects, and things similar to the virtual metaverse also exist. And these things can record and broadcast the battle situation in real time, or even live broadcast it. Although the brilliant fleet has undergone a big change. But the real fight begins. Whether it's fighting style, fighting methods, or even weapons, starship configuration of the fleet, etc. They will be captured by the enemy immediately. In this way, the situation of the brilliant fleet can be analyzed immediately. So I want to hide it. It's almost impossible. We can only conceal it to the greatest extent so as to allow the brilliant fleet enough time to retreat. In fact, this is also true. The brilliant fleet retreated as quickly as possible, and then retreated for a while. The strong men from the Inhumans and the Insects came. The most rigorous scan of the surrounding star system was carried out. After finally finding no trace of the brilliant fleet, he left with regret. If there is a chance to kill the brilliant fleet, the superpowers of the Inhumans and Insects, he will definitely take action without hesitation. Tion Hertzen, a close friend. Even if he suffers crazy revenge from the superpowers of the human race in the universe, he will not hesitate to do so. But this time it's definitely not possible. No chance either. The brilliant fleet has long since escaped, and no one knows where the brilliant fleet is now. At this time, in a meteorite belt, the brilliant fleet fled the scene of the battle immediately and came here for escape. Su Zian is also extremely good at it. In Star Wars simulation, escape is also a part of the battle. Escape and wait for the starship to recover a lot of its combat power before continuing to kill. After confirming that the surrounding area is safe, then by Saryuan's starship began to be replenished and repaired. In fact, there is nothing that needs to be repaired, mainly supplies. Now that I have come out. And this task was completed so quickly. Naturally, it is impossible to go back just to complete this task. What's more, there are enough reserves of various supplies now, and it will be enough to fight 10 or 20 times. This is the benefit of having top support ships. The reserve capacity is truly amazing. At this time, while the Brilliance was replenishing supplies, Su Zian observed Taj. Judging from previous performance, Taj became even more taciturn. But the action is not slow at all. And it serves as the second defense ship of the Brilliant fleet. He didn't flinch at all because of the strength of his opponent. The reason why the boulder was able to escape and scathe was its own strength. Another reason is also because there is an extra Iron Mountain. Taishinho, because it is not specially customized. Therefore, the performance in all aspects is much worse than that of the boulder. But Taj's own combat strength is not much worse. Especially in terms of combat experience, it is not bad at all. In this way, only then did the brilliant fleet defeat the most difficult Tikuan's fleet in the IC-998 theater without any damage. It can be said to be a great victory. What is Taja's character specifically? It remains to be seen later. Now. There's no rush. Su Zian didn't think about this problem again. Instead, he turned on the optical brain watch. This is an official mission this time. 
After killing the Tikuans' fleet, the intelligent optical brain of the official mission system approved it immediately. A full 100,000 military merits were accounted for, and Anku swallowed them all one after another. Don't ask why. Asking is what he deserves. Moreover, these military merit points also need to be used to purchase parts for the newly added Haitang and Taj evolved battleships. In addition to his reward for evolving the starship for them, as well as the natural resources and treasures they will use in the future, do the math. Their little military merit is simply not enough to pay for it. Should be said or not. Soon, I'm afraid. All their savings over the years will be wiped out by Suzian. And like Qin Fuyue and other women, she owes Suzian a large sum of money. Work hard to pay off the debt in the future. 100,000 military merit and 1 million wealth were recorded. Increases in wealth are not very satisfying. But military merit is an extremely precious thing. This is the most important. And with these 100,000 military merits, most of the main parts for evolving the battleship can be purchased. Coupled with his previous military merit of more than 200,000, the materials and parts for the evolved battleship were finally enough. Now, just wait until your biological energy reaches full value. You can officially evolve into a battleship. Say nothing. Buy directly. In addition to the basic rewards of military merit. The overall starship rank of the brilliant fleet has also made a big leap forward. Past the intelligent optical brain identification of the fleet system of the Space Human Federation. This time, I won a great victory. And the task completion degree was extremely high, and the task difficulty was extremely high. The brilliant fleet scored a lot of points. He was directly promoted from the Black Iron rank to the Bronze Prime fleet level. Starfleet ranks increased. Also represents. You can take on more and more difficult tasks. Whether it is an official mission, an interstellar hunter guild mission, or a private mission. In fact, there are fleet rank restrictions. For example, the previous mission of the Tikuas fleet. The brilliant fleet is just the black iron fleet. Only the highest can accept this task. This was set up for the purpose of protecting the fleet. Suzian didn't even look at the more difficult tasks. Because I simply can't pick it up. Now of course there is no problem. After three stars in bronze, the overall strength of the fleet is basically brilliant. More difficult tasks appear. TC-998 Warzone Mission, colon. Cooperative Combat. Mission Goal, assist the Federal Army in the TC-998 Theater to capture the Z-023 area and occupy it for a week. Mission Rewards, depending on your contribution, you will be rewarded with varying amounts of military merit. Appointment Difficulty, S++. Mission Suggestion, in this capture mission, the enemies are huge in number and powerful in combat. It is recommended that fleets with super combat effectiveness take on this mission. Ordinary fleets should be cautious as the mortality rate is extremely high. This collaborative combat mission. To put it simply, it is a mission in a small-scale war. Completely occupy an area and compress the enemy's living space. And war, even if it is small scale, the number of enemies is also extremely large. The large number of enemies also means higher danger. Especially the brilliant fleet such as the brilliant fleet, as long as it appears on such a battlefield, it will definitely be the target of everyone's attention. But. Suzian didn't want to give up on this task. Because this mission has a lot of military merit rewards, and the most important thing is that you can get a lot of evolution values from it. That's the point, as for the danger, indeed. This mission will indeed be very dangerous. But. The Tianjiao fleet is the biggest difference from ordinary fleets. That is the Tianjiao fleet, which has the highest autonomy. That means. Even if you accept this task. But the brilliant fleet can completely ignore the orders of the Federal Army and do it on its own. No matter how you do it, there's no problem. Then the intelligent optical brain will give you a score based on your performance in this task. If your contribution is zero, there will be no military merit reward at all.
If you act independently, causing deviations in your own actions, or even damage, or even failure. Sorry about that. Even if it is the Tianjia fleet, you must get out of the battlefield as soon as possible. If serious losses are caused. Kings. You will also suffer the most severe punishment. So, it's good to have autonomy. But it's not used well. The results would be pretty bad too. This is a double-edged sword. But. Suzian must take on this task. Afraid of this or that. Then don't mess around. Although it will indeed be very dangerous. However, if there is no danger, how to break through an adversity? As for the enemy's super strong man taking action against him, there is no need to worry. In this kind of small-scale war, the super strong ones on our side will pay attention to the whole process. Especially after the brilliant fleet took over this mission. The super strong ones on our side will pay close attention to them. Normally I won't take action. Only when the enemy super strong takes action will it be intercepted. To ensure that the brilliant fleet can exercise its maximum freedom, this is basically the situation. Didn't think much about it. Suzian Accepted this task directly. Here comes the battlefield. But he does not participate in war crimes. Only small-scale local wars were carried out. No, the Tikuan's fleet was not even considered a local war before. Then what are you doing on the battlefield? The battle is over, before going. Su Zian led the brilliant fleet to the nearest human-controlled rear area. He wants to carry out a wave of camouflage on the brilliant fleet. Maybe the brilliant fleet will have to carry out such disguise in the future. Same as the Tikuan's fleet. Every time there is a battle, a disguise is performed. Even every time you show up in a place, you have to do it again. Protect yourself as much as possible from being discovered. Unfortunately. Little kite. Now it's just the cruiser class. At the battleship level. Should be said or not, it is necessary to add a new camouflage cabin. Maintenance cabin, supply cabin, reconnaissance cabin, camouflage cabin. Now. It can only be temporarily disguised in a fixed area. In disguise. In fact, Suzian can do it too. After all, he is an evolutionist. Starship camouflage isn't particularly difficult. The key is that you are not very proficient. This is a problem. After that, every time the evolution is simulated. You still have to learn the techniques of starship camouflage. This technology is particularly important on the battlefield, it's the brilliant fleet. Look, it's really a brilliant fleet. The brilliant genius Su Zian. The brilliant fleet has just entered the evolution factory of this planet. It immediately attracted the attention of a large number of people. This is the downside of being famous. Basically, you can't hide yourself anywhere. Good thing. This is the human race area. As long as confidentiality measures are done well. There should be no leakage of 880 information about the latest disguised appearance and his location. This confidentiality measure is naturally handed over to the Federal Army here. Su Zian immediately used his unique authority to mobilize a group of Federal troops and seal off the surrounding area. Prevent any unauthorized persons from entering. After that, the camouflage masters in the factory were asked to camouflage the brilliant fleet. The entire disguise lasted three hours. Then he secretly left the planet from another area. Entered the deep space area. And after what happened this time. It also strengthened Suzian's determination to learn camouflage techniques after learning. This matter. Very important. This coordinated combat mission will begin in 22 hours. The normal attack situation is to advance from the front. The dazzling fleet will definitely not attack from the front. Now that I have accepted this task. Then Suzian never thought of obeying the collective dispatch of the Federal Army. We must try our best to bring out the powerful strength of the brilliant fleet and the genius fleet. Rather than following the action of a large army, be one of them. 
Following the movement of large forces, it is actually impossible to bring out the due strength of the Tianjiao fleet. The dazzling fleet should be like the tip of a sharp sword, piercing the enemy's heart. Not to mention the victory of this small-scale war was established in one fell swoop. At least we must gain a greater advantage in this attack on our own side. This is the advantage of Tianjiao fleet, just like special forces. Frontal combat is never what special forces should do. Start by taking the task. Su Zian is studying the offensive tactics, this time. To avoid the frontal battlefield, the only option is to go deep behind enemy lines. Wait until the starships are all camouflaged. Su Zian already has a basic concept in his mind. First. The war started 22 hours later. They still have 22 hours to start from here. Go around the next door, which is the TC-996 battlefield. Avoid all enemies along the way, as well as enemy spy lines and reconnaissance, and launch from the TC-998 battlefield. After passing the TC-997 battlefield, we finally arrived at the TC-995 battlefield. Then enter the enemy's rear, from the TC-996 battlefield, from the enemy's rear. After passing the TC-997 battlefield, we finally arrived at the rear of the TC-998 battlefield. This journey takes a long time. You also need to pay attention to the enemy sight lines and reconnaissance, and you also need to pay attention to avoid the area where the enemy is. This section of the road is the most urgent, difficult and dangerous. Then he stayed dormant behind the enemy on the TC-998 battlefield. Wait until the time comes. Take another shot and kill with one strike. Time is running out. There simply wasn't that much time to plan a more detailed plan. We can only implement and improve at the same time. Adieu. Su Zian immediately gave the order, Xiao Yuan. Detection is on full blast, you must not miss any details. You don't need to save your creatures, you can use them for investigation. After hearing Su Zian's order, Bai Xiao Yuan said without any hesitation, got it. The voice is still so sweet and crisp. Bai Xiao Yuan, whether it is repairing, supplying, or conducting reconnaissance. All require, consuming her bioenergy. Bai Xiaoyao, directly launched the reconnaissance stealth drone first. Start scouting ahead. After making sure there is no danger. The brilliant fleet followed up. The dazzling fleet set out again, in the sea level battlefield. Medium and large scale wars will not break out easily. But small scale wars break out from time to time. Moreover, in this small scale war, you and I often come and go. Sometimes it is the human race that has the upper hand and pushes the inhumans and inhumans back into areas occupied by multiple star systems. Sometimes, it is the inhumans or the insects that have the upper hand. The human race was beaten until they lost their positions, one after another. Later, more troops were invested to recapture the lost positions. It can be called a turn-based war. No one gives up before they dare. Giving in means losing this battlefield. Once the battlefield is lost, the enemy will take the opportunity to invade the hinterland of the human race. The human race will suffer heavy losses. Same reason. The same goes for enemies. However, this has not happened for many years. After several hours of traveling, the brilliant fleet arrived at the TC-997 battlefield. Along the way, whether it is the human race, the inhuman race, or the area where the insect race is located, they all avoided it, because even in the area where the human race is, it is also possible to leak your own information. This is not unusual. Rest in place for half an hour, eat and use the toilet, and then continue to set off. Su Zian issued this order. At the same time, open the optical brain watch and check it. Just now when I was on my way. The optical brain watch will send messages from time to time. Su Zian wanted to see who was looking for him. These few hours of traveling have gone very smoothly for the time being. So there is enough time. He lifted up the optical brain watch and looked at it, and was slightly startled. The one looking for him was Ren Qingying. She first dialed the communication number, 
but when she didn't get through, she left a message for herself. The content of the message is also very simple. The second batch of order payment has arrived. It will be transferred to Suzian's account within 24 hours. The second batch of order payment is quite large. There are full 800 billion universe coins. Ren Qingying made all this clear. Thanks to Su Zian's fame, the starships he designed are indeed outstanding in performance and very low cost. That's why there are so many orders. Therefore, Ren Qingying's main purpose of looking for Su Zian this time. It expresses a collective decision of all shareholders and senior management of Huawei Group. Give Su Zian 10% of Huawei Group shares. To know. These are the shares of the entire Huawei Group, not the shares of Huawei Starship Group. And now he is the chairman of Huawei Group. There are not so many shares, only 1% of the shares. The remaining 99% of the shares are all scattered in the hands of various employees of the Huawei Group. In other words, once Su Zian obtains 10% of the shares, Su Zian will become the largest shareholder of Huawei Group. The undisputed largest shareholder. Of course, it only has dividend rights for the shares, no voting rights, and cannot be bought or sold. I don't care about this. Whether it's dividend rights or voting rights, it doesn't matter to him. Because he has no intention of being the master of Huawei. After all, Huawei is very powerful in the Earth Federation. But outside the Earth Federation. In fact, it's nothing at all. To put it more simply, Su Zian only focused on the wealth represented by 10% of the shares. As for controlling Huawei or not, I don't care at all. It is precisely because Huawei's share structure is very complex and special. Therefore, it is not a simple matter to completely transfer 10% of the shares to Su Zian, and involves all aspects. It's unlikely for at least two years. It is estimated that it will take about three years to withdraw these 10% of the shares and give them to the abandoned. But Su Zian is not in a hurry. Just three years. It passed in a flash. And three years later. Oh, you may have more than 10 trillion or tens of trillions of wealth at one time. Even higher. Maybe. Disposable. It can make the wealth value exceed 1 billion or tens of billions. This. That's what Su Zian needs. The second batch of order payment of 800 billion cosmic coins will be transferred to Su Zian's account within 24 hours. The specific time period for the transfer depends on Huawei Group's finances and when it will be clear how much money will be transferred to Su Zian. If it's quick, it might arrive within the next hour. If it's slow, it won't take more than a day. To be honest, Su Zian is actually quite looking forward to it. Because, after the 800 billion cosmic coins arrive, your own system will undergo another upgrade. For the first order payment, there are still tens of millions of wealth left in hand. Now add another 80 million wealth value. The final wealth value reached tens of millions. Get new features with absolutely no questions asked. Su Zian is very looking forward to what new functions will be brought by the breakthrough of 100 million wealth value. Of course, Su Zian also needs these 800 billion very much. The reason is simple. He actually doesn't have much money left. After Jiang Yao Yao surrendered to herself, the pink blood elves have all arrived in their barren territory and were imprisoned by guards. Jiang Yao Yao took the hundreds of billions of cosmic coins transferred by Su Zian that day and started preparing for an intelligence organization. Intelligence organizations can make money, but they can also spend money. The establishment of an intelligence organization is the most expensive. However, Su Zian doesn't feel bad about the early investment. Because of the money invested in the early stage, the wealth value has already been obtained. And the money that has been invested to increase one's wealth can later be transferred to more money to increase one's wealth. No matter how you calculate it, how cost-effective it is. And hundreds of billions. For Su Zian's ambition, it is not an exaggeration to say that it is a drop in the bucket. Hundreds of billions do seem like a lot. But in fact, 
It is actually enough to form an ordinary intelligence organization covering the entire Earth Federation. But, if you want to form a pervasive, super-elite intelligence organization that even has its own armed forces, an Earth Federation-wide intelligence organization alone is not enough. Because the universe is really too vast and vast. An Earth Federation controls many star systems in the area. The intelligence organization wants to meet Suzy and standards, the kind of all-pervasive intelligence standards. At least a certain number of intelligence personnel must be placed on each planet, right? Don't say anything else. Just talk about one galaxy of the Earth Federation. There are hundreds of billions of star systems. There are billions and tens of billions of inhabited star systems among them. How many planets do we need to have intelligence personnel deployed on? This does not include those space stations, those wandering planets, those private planets, those private star systems, etc., within the Milky Way. If you want to do something, you have to be the best and the most awesome. This is Su Zian's purpose. The intelligence organization is not just about Su Zian providing precise positioning to make money. Yes, you can indeed make a lot of money that way. But how much more can there be? Su Zian can't just locate others every day when he has nothing to do, right? Do you still want to practice? Therefore, intelligence organizations must also have their own ability to make money from intelligence. And most importantly, this intelligence organization will also become Su Zian's greatest help. For example, Su Zian wants the most accurate information. For example, the Tikuan's fleet yesterday. The intelligence organization directly under his command provides him with the most accurate intelligence. Wouldn't that be beautiful? He can also control the movements and intelligence of the inhumans and insects at all times. And always be on guard against dangers to yourself. This is the most important. For this intelligence organization, Su Zian's ultimate goal. It is an imperial clan that covers the entire universe, is pervasive, and connects the main group of aliens and insectoids. They all need to have important information delivered back at all times and want to create such an intelligence organization. The amount of money that needs to be spent will be huge. But, take your time with everything. Not urgent. Main scope now. It is within the scope of Jiao Xiao Xinghai. First, control all the information about Jiao Xiao Xinghai in your own hands. Su Zian also gave this intelligence organization a name. Dark Matter Intelligence Organization. Choosing this name is very simple and fully reflects Su Zian's ambition. Dark matter. Everywhere. And wherever there is dark matter. Have information from the Dark Matter Intelligence Organization. Smile slightly, think no more. After giving a casual reply to Ren Qingying, the brilliant fleet continued on its way. This small-scale war initiated by the human race is getting closer. Call it a small-scale war. In fact, it can only be regarded as an ultra-small-scale one. War. They are divided into encounter wars, local wars, very small-scale wars, small-scale wars, small and medium-scale wars, medium-scale wars, medium-large-scale wars, large-scale wars, and very large-scale wars. And unique to SSS Battlefield. War of Races. Different battlefields have different scales of war. The upper limit of the combat power of the B-level battlefield is not high, but the scale is huge. There are large-scale wars all year round, so it is called the meat grinder of death. Sea-level battlefields, ultra-small-scale wars occur from time to time. This kind of ultra-small-scale war is basically a full-scale war in a theater. There are relatively few small-scale wars. Basically, they are fought in several surrounding war zones together. Small and medium-sized wars mean that nearly half of the war zones are fighting. Medium-scale war. For sea-level wars, there are basically very few. But once a war breaks out, it will bloom everywhere, with death and battlefields everywhere. But it won't last long. Once it lasts for too long, no party can withdraw from the war, and the battlefield expands asking for flowers. Then it will be automatically upgraded to a B-level battlefield. But for countless years. 
Basically, no C-level battlefield has been upgraded to a B-level battlefield. 20 hours later. Brilliant fleet. Unexpectedly, the journey went smoothly, constantly breaking in from the enemy's rear, and quietly entering the enemy's rear area. All of these. All thanks to the fact that it is only a C-level battlefield. To be honest, there is no such thing as a fleet that is too powerful. And as long as it is below the Star Destroyer, including the Star Destroyer, as long as it's not a particularly high quality, it is difficult to detect the existence of reconnaissance stealth drones. The reconnaissance stealth drone is too small. Another purple unrivaled quality stealth performance. It is not difficult to avoid all enemies and spies and allow the brilliant fleet to safely enter the battlefield behind the enemy. At this time, the area where the brilliant fleet is located. It is a star system controlled behind the insects. It is hidden in the meteorite zone on the periphery of the spring insect star system. It's here. The brilliant fleet has cut off all communication channels with the human race in the universe, and only maintains the brilliant fleet's own communication channel. Although the communicators of the brilliant fleet are also of very high quality, but just in case, the enemy's technology captures the communication signal, so it's better to be on the safe side. It's here. There are fleets of insectoids everywhere. There is also the insect starship army of the insect race. They are densely packed and extremely numerous, which makes people's scalp troublesome. But there are relatively few starships of the more powerful kind. Not too much. No need to think about it. Here, once the bugs discovered traces of their own fleet. What awaits the dazzling fleet is death. Su Zian will definitely not die. B. The girls are basically cool. So, the rest of the time. Not a critical moment. The brilliant fleet will never take action. And judging from the situation observed with the naked eye, it seems that the insect race has also learned the information that the human race is going to attack. At present, a large number of troops and fleets have been assembled and rushed to the battlefield. But it seems that the information was obtained relatively late. Now I am rushing over in a hurry. Among the other fleets, Su Zian ignored them. He kept an eye on the enemy's command fleet the entire time. The primary goal and mission of the brilliant fleet it is to destroy the enemy's command fleet. If you can kill a large number of the enemy's command fleet. So this war. The Terrans will gain a huge advantage. And the brilliant fleet, you will also receive a lot of rewards and benefits. Time. It passed quickly in such a tense and exciting situation. Two hours later. Accompanied by violent explosions in extremely distant areas. There is also the slowly captured vacuum sound. Frontline battlefield. Finally opened the five, in the dense meteorite belt outside the spring insect star system. A heavily camouflaged fleet is hiding inside and observing the situation outside. Little bird, how's the investigation going? Have the TC-998 battlefield been locked? Where is the command of the insect side for this war? Su Zian asked for the eighth time. At this time, a full nine hours have passed since the war started by the human race. During these nine hours, from time to time, we would see a large number of damaged warships of the Zerg race retreating back from the front line. From time to time, we can see more insect fleets rushing to the battlefield. The quantity is huge. And for these nine hours, the brilliant fleet has been hiding here, motionless. Again. Frontal battlefield. It has never been a battlefield for the brilliant fleet. And this time, Bai Xiaoyuan finally had a clear reply. Since these nine hours, the most tired one is Bai Xiaoyuan. In other words, from the beginning to now, Bai Xiaoyuan is the most tired. I won't talk about it later. Bai Xiaoyuan was responsible for the investigation throughout the entire process. And after arriving here, Bai Xiaoyao still controlled the reconnaissance stealth drone with all his heart, carefully and secretly, investigating the surrounding situation. Because this is something that 500 must never be discovered by the enemy. 
Fortunately, the advantages of high-grade and high-quality drones have been demonstrated. After nine hours of careful investigation, we finally got something. The drone levels of the support ship can also evolve together. To be honest, the support ship's drone is a component of the support ship. Naturally, the higher the level of the support ship, the higher the level of the drone. It seems that a suspected enemy command position has been discovered. The drone has just captured a large number of communication signals. The destination and the signal returned are all from the frontline battlefield of the insects. It's not certain yet, further confirmation is in progress. Bai Xiaoyuan replied in a serious voice. She couldn't help but not being serious. Even though she has followed Su Zian for so long. But this is the first time I have experienced such a tense and exciting scene like today. Too dangerous. If you are not careful, you will be wiped out. There can be no surprises. Su Zian nodded lightly, okay. Don't worry, even a very small-scale war will not end easily. Unless certain results are achieved, the war will continue. Continue the investigation, don't be in a hurry, you must put caution and safety as the first element. Su Zian warned again. Bai Xiaoyuan quickly responded, I know. I will be careful. Finished. He continued to put on a sullen face, pursed his red lips, and continued to control the drone for investigation. Thanks to a year of extreme training in the training camp. Otherwise, under normal circumstances, no cruiser captain would be able to persist in reconnaissance for such a long time without taking a break. But even so, Bai Xiaoyao's bioenergy has basically been consumed. Because every drone wants to achieve the best detection effect and concealment effect. Creatures must be injected to cooperate with detection and operations. Otherwise, just the intelligence of the reconnaissance cabin and the drone itself. I'm afraid it would have been discovered long ago. None of the other women in the fleet spoke. Remain silent and alert throughout the process, ready to take action at any time. That's all. Another hour and a half passed. Finally. Bai Xiaoyuan's tired but pleasant voice sounded, confirmed. The signal just discovered is just a signal relay station, just a smoke bomb set up by the insects to prevent the headquarters from being attacked. The real headquarters is in another rear star system controlled by the Zerg race. Su Zian's eyes suddenly condensed and he said in a deep voice, share the signal coordinates to me immediately. Bai Xiaoyuan contributed to Su Zian immediately. Su Zian took a look, displayed according to one's own star chart. This coordinate position is a rear star system of the insect race. That is, an ordinary star system inhabited by a large number of ordinary people. Su Zian didn't expect it. The enemy actually established their headquarters here. Are you really not afraid of the human race or the inhuman race's raid fleet? Or do you have enough confidence in your own concealment or defensive capabilities? Su Zian smiled coldly. Generally speaking, the headquarters may be established in the army and under the protection of the army. But it is also possible that the fighting on the front line is fierce and a large number of troops have landed on the battlefield without sufficient protective power. As a last resort, the headquarters had to be moved to the rear. But no matter what. Now that the enemy's headquarters has been found. Then there is nothing to be polite about. As long as it is confirmed that it is not a trap, as long as the enemy headquarters is confirmed, there is not much defensive force. Hashtag B4. Wait a minute, the enemy command is taking the star system with it. They will all be the target of destruction by the brilliant fleet. With the goal confirmed, there is nothing to hesitate about. Everyone, prepare for action. Little bird, how are you doing now? Can you still hold on? Suzian asked. Bai Xiaoyuan responded without hesitation, no problem. I just ate a rejuvenation fruit, and my biological energy is slowly recovering. There will definitely be no problem with the investigation, but the follow-up supply may be. Suzian said, this is okay. After we pass, we will definitely not attack immediately. We will continue to investigate first, and you will recover, slowly. 
When the recovery is almost complete, then destroy the enemy's headquarters in one fell swoop. Bai Xiaoyao nodded, that's no problem. Since Bai Xiaoyuan doesn't have any problems. Brilliant fleet set off immediately. The surrounding area has been scouted. Confirmed there is no danger. Immediately, quietly. Heading towards the target star system. The whole journey takes about two hours. As for the star system in front of us, it is just a smoke bomb and a signal relay station released by the enemy. It is not the location of the enemy's headquarters at all. Then there is no need to attack. It has no strategic significance at all. Just as the brilliant fleet set off. In the Spring Insect Star System. The Spring Insect Star System is a not-so-inconspicuous star system among the galaxies controlled by the human race. Nothing special about it. Just an ordinary rear star system. And it is a star system that is smaller than the solar system. The permanent population here is approximately 2 trillion people. After all, there is not much else about the insect race, except that it has a large population. And among these 2 trillion people, 99% are just ordinary people. The rest is the biological captain. Moreover, because of the ultra-small scale war suddenly launched by the human race, a large number of biological captains have gone to the front line for reinforcements. Only a small number of biological captains are still here, and they are all not very powerful ones. In this star system, ordinary insectoids also live normally. It's time to eat and drink. For such a war. I have long been used to it. I only pay attention to it occasionally. And what they don't know is. Right within their star system. The headquarters of this war has quietly moved here, and it is on one of the most prosperous planets. Control the battlefield remotely. War Command. It is a special profession. War Command does not require you to be strong. However, military ability and command ability can only be achieved by those who have received professional training. Just like the commander-in-chief of the insects in this war. Even just an old man who is over 700 years old. He's not even a bio-captain. The lifespan is not very long either. Even if he is in good health, he will be buried in another 100 or 200 years at most. As the commander-in-chief, at this time, he is commanding the overall situation remotely. Orders were sent out one after another, ordering the insect warriors to constantly change their tactics in response to the human attack. At the same time, they continued to deploy their forces to prevent the aliens from attacking. Every order he gave was very sensible and appropriate. Judging from the orders he issued, it can be seen that this is an old commander who has commanded countless battles. Marshal Bove, may I ask, when our Nanjia fleet will be able to set off? The damn brilliant fleet hasn't appeared yet? My starship tells me its main guns are thirsty. At this time, a very sharp young voice suddenly sounded in the command room. The voice sounded very young, with a strong sense of pride and a hint of excitement. He had four compound eyes like flies and looked very ugly, but he was extremely old and did not even raise his head. After issuing a dozen more orders with an extremely cold expression, he replied calmly, If you are not willing to wait, go to the battlefield to find him yourself. At least judging from the current intelligence, no trace of the brilliant fleet has been found. In addition, although 1.9 you are the 299th genius on the genius list, you are the pride and future of our insect race. But now, in my place, I hope you can be quiet and stop making noises to disturb my command. Otherwise, get out of here. If you want to use your genius authority to drive me away later, you can do whatever you want, but shut up now. Bayef scolded mercilessly. Although he didn't even turn his head. But his four compound eyes, coldly directed at the young men and women in the room. Compound eye is awesome in this aspect. His scolding finally made the young man become speechless. On the TC-998 battlefield. He is boyv, even though he is not a biological captain. But his prestige is supreme. Although the noise in his ears disappeared, Bayev still frowned tightly. The four ugly compound eyes under his eyebrows shone with doubt. Do not know why. 
He always felt like something was wrong. But I just reviewed the battlefield again and found no problems. This made him very confused. In the end, I could only shake my head and stop thinking about it. I feel a lot more vigilant inside. Continue to direct. In the Spring Insect Star System, in the temporary headquarters. Although this headquarters is in the rear. But it was also in a military camp. Although there are not many garrison forces left in this military camp, most of the forces have gone to the front line. However, there is still a fleet led by the captain of the deep space ship to protect the safety of the command headquarters at all times. This fleet is also the personal guard fleet of Commander Bove. In the headquarters, Nanji was also bored and chewing his nose. Nanji is also the 299th genius on the genius list. This ranking is very high, and its own strength is also extremely strong. The Star War talent of the top genius level, plus the advanced battleship level, and the overall pink perfect quality starship. Let him indeed have the capital to be proud of. Although it is not 100% overall pink perfect quality, this quality is already very, very strong. Regarding Baif's scolding, Nanji did not refute anything. Because he just complained. The reason why he came to the TC-998 war zone. No doubt, they are coming for the most popular dazzling fleet recently. He came here just to kill Suzian. Death of Barbarusru. The insect race was in an uproar. Countless people were filled with outrage. Naturally, Nanjiya was included. But Nanji was also more excited. When the entire insect race was angry. If he, Nanjiya, suddenly killed Suzian. It would be unimaginable how much his fame would increase. Fame and fortune, isn't this what we pursue when we live in this world? Kill Suzian and gain fame. Not to mention the benefits. Every genius on the genius list is accompanied by huge rewards. Unfortunately, there has been no news from the brilliant fleet since it killed the Tikuan's fleet. Look at Buv again. In fact, he was always paying attention to the information about the brilliant fleet and Suzian. Also waiting for Suzian to appear. Killing Suzian, he, Baif, will also gain countless benefits. You can even take this opportunity to apply for a super awakening from the insect race. This super awakening has no other use. It is an extremely precious, extremely precious thing that allows ordinary people of any age to have an opportunity to awaken bioenergy with a very high probability. Even as an old man like him, he still has a chance. He, Buv, didn't want to die. Brilliant fleet, brilliant proud Suzian, where are you? Buv's huge compound eyes kept flashing with light and excitement, and he murmured secretly. At the same time, on a stray meteorite outside the spring insect star system. This meteorite is very big, and with so many starships of the brilliant fleet parked on it, they are not so conspicuous. The brilliant fleet is here, observing the situation in the spring insect star system. Bai Xiaoniao, while conducting reconnaissance, reported, the target has been confirmed. It's in a bug human military camp in the southern hemisphere of planet number 7. After covert investigation, it can be confirmed. Planet 7 has the strongest combat power with only one escort fleet led by a deep space ship. The total fleet is 30 insectoid army starships. A primary deep space ship. 7 advanced battleships. 15 intermediate battleships. The remaining 7 are all primary battleships. In addition, there are 3 battleships and 12 cruisers in the entire Spring Insect Star System. There are about 17 million destroyers and starships below. Most of them have reconnaissance ships and frigates as the main starships, with a small number of assault ships and destroyers. Bai Xiaoyuan's investigation report was quite careful. Su Zian kept nodding. There must be many starships that have not been detected. For example, if there is a higher quality star destroyer, the reconnaissance stealth drone will not be able to detect it. If you are afraid of this, then you are also worried. Then don't mess around in the battlefield, go to the back and play in the mud. Okay, you can restore it now. Suzian warned by Xiaoyuan, and then said to the girls in a solemn tone, this time. 
There is no doubt that this will be the most dangerous battle since the establishment of our dazzling fleet. Why, even, our brilliant fleet may die for the first time. But, captains like us must grow up against the odds in the face of danger, in order to grow into a truly super strong man. Ordinary battles can't help us reach the top. Next, everyone will experience the people, F asterisk asterisk K me hard, F asterisk asterisk K me hard. After the main target is eliminated. As long as the enemy's reinforcements do not arrive, let me carry out a sweep. Use whichever weapon is the most powerful. Give me a carpet-like sweep of the insectoids on these planets. Every microbe must be killed by me. And what kind of results can be obtained in the end and how much evolution value can be obtained. It just depends on how many targets we can kill this time. Okay, that's it for now. Everyone is ready immediately and waiting for Bai Xiaoyuan to recover. Then, act now. Su Zian made the opening remarks of the battle. In fact, his words were indeed not exaggerated in the slightest. Because this method of fighting deep behind enemy lines can be said to be extremely dangerous. One mistake can lead to death. The girls are making preparations. Su Zian. Then continue to make deductions. That is, after the battle, how the brilliant fleet escapes and the deduction of the escape route. Su Zian, set up 10 evacuation routes and plans. That being said, Su Zian must still try his best to bring the girls back as they were brought. Do your best to keep them safe. After all, they are not death squads. If you kill the target, you'll both die together. Su Zian would never be able to do that kind of thing in his life. Another two hours passed. Bai Xiaoyao, with the help of a large number of natural materials and earthly treasures, even took a medicinal bath and restored half of his bioenergy. But it's enough. Present. Su Zian no longer hesitated. He took a deep breath, pressed the communicator, and issued an order in a deep voice, everyone, prepare. When we attack later, Taj, you are responsible for intercepting the enemy starship attack. Taj, you are responsible for intercepting attacks on the enemy's defensive positions. Now, come with me, huh? Wait. Su Zian hadn't finished speaking when suddenly his whole body suddenly stood on the spot. He stared blankly ahead, his eyes blinking wildly. I saw. A long lost system. It popped up again. Detected wealth value exceeded 100 million points. New system function is activated. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the super disguise ability. Super camouflage, you can consume a certain amount of wealth to obtain a transformation plan for starship camouflage. From that appearance to identifying the starship itself, you can perform confusion and camouflage to identify friend or foe. 1. Note 1. This ability can be used for visual camouflage, that is, camouflage from the enemy's line of sight. This method of camouflage requires a large amount of wealth. Note 2. It is recommended to borrow modified items for disguise, if circumstances permit. These few fonts suddenly appeared. Su Zian was stunned on the spot and didn't come back to his senses for a while. Wait until he comes to his senses. The expression is filled with excitement and excitement, so timely. It's so timely. What Su Zian didn't expect was. The new system function with a wealth value exceeding 100 million is so impressive. Super Disguise. 140, just from the name, you can tell how useful this ability is. No. In other words, none of the capabilities of the system are useless just for now, especially on the battlefield. Level summoning disguise. But it's so damn useful. Su Zian is just worried that his camouflage skills are not very good. However, the system directly gave him this gift. Moreover, it is still the kind of disguise that can be used to identify friend or foe. It is also the most advanced and most difficult to detect method of camouflage in the entire universe. Why is it extremely difficult and costly to assault the enemy's rear? It's because identification of friend or foe is too difficult to solve. 
Even if you can disguise yourself for a short period of time, the price you pay is extremely high. The most important thing is that there are too few evolutionists who master this kind of identification of friend or foe. Yes. Camouflage, it is also a branch of the evolutionist. The disguiser is also the evolutionist. Just because Suzian focuses on starship evolution and starship quality, that's why I'm not proficient in starship camouflage. But the disguiser is also a kind of evolution. In other words, camouflage is a skill of the evolutionist. Just like crossfire technology, there are many evolutionists who master the disguise of ordinary appearance. It is even said that almost all evolutionists can do it as long as they have enough materials. But, there are very few people who want to reach the level of proficiency. Because of the ordinary disguise, it is easy to be seen. The more sophisticated the disguise ability, the harder it is to distinguish. Such as the Tikuan's fleet. Just mastering disguise. Finally, the most awesome one. It's identity identification, friend or foe disguise. This. It's the evolutionist's camouflage technology. The rarest, but also the most awesome. Thank you for watching Mystic Realms Recap. Please like share and subscribe. Have a great day.